In this video, I'll talk about multispectral photogrammetry and 3D modeling. For this project, I'm using a small global shutter camera that captures 1600 by 1300 pixel images. Each frame that it captures has red, green, blue, and near infrared information. The camera connects with a small board, which then has a USB 3 connector that can be connected to a computer. The camera from Leopard Imaging comes with some software that allows you to control it from Windows, but the camera should be usable from many other operating systems as well. The camera didn't come with much technical information on how to utilize the images that it captures, but some searching online found a paper that had some information that seemed relevant, so I used it in this project. I assumed this color filter array pattern and reconstructed the images by interpolating the green and near infrared using bilinear interpolation. Then I took the red pixels and subtracted the green ones from it to get a difference, interpolated those and added that to the green to get the red band. And I did the same thing for the blue band as I did for the red band. Here is a visualization of a textured 3D model in color infrared that was created from images captured on my deck. It's not the best model given images were only taken from limited angles, but it's still very interesting. These are the images captured on my deck. On the left, it shows true color images. On the right, false color infrared images. They were separated out from the raw 10 images that the camera actually captured. There's 660 images here, but about 240 of them were utilized to build the 3D models. The processing I applied also used the gray patches to scale the images to percent reflectance. After that was done, the images were scaled with a lookup table using a gamma of 2.2. This final section of the video shows a true color 3D model rendering and also illustrates the camera positions where the images were taken from. In summary, you can create 3D multispectral models from this nifty little camera.